Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your weekend reading, you guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue with the, the dailies on this channel, but over on my other channel, I will be doing the daily with an oracle reading as well. So if you guys would like a second daily reading and oracle reading to boot, then go check it out, okay? Alright, so... Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? All right, so let's see what messages and energies we have coming through here for this weekend. And we got cards flying. We've got Justice, the Ace of Cups, and I'm bent my card. Woo, look at that. What a beautiful energy. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. All right, what do we need to know this weekend? What do we need to know? Saturday and Sunday. Woo. <laughs> All right. We have the chariot. Wow. The queen of pentacles. The Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, oh my goodness, and we have the High Priest, wow. So, you have the Master Number 11 plus the number 111, okay, then you have the number 99, I mean, <laughs> Goodness gracious, I love it. That's amazing. Let me grab some oracles. Okay. Healing the past. Starting fresh. All right, so we have deception and envy. Okay, and then we have fertility. All right, oh, you hear BJ snoring back here, you guys. So if you hear him snoring, that's what that is. <laughs> if you hear a strange noise. All right, so with this said, you have now the 111, master number 11, the number 77, and you have the number 99, okay? That is so powerful. All right. Let's start here. Okay. So we have healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. Beautiful. You know, it's going to be very important if you are ending a season, a cycle in your life that you make sure to, you know, heal from what you've been through, okay, in that, in that season. Because you don't want to carry any of that, you don't want to carry any energies or emotions or anything that could be negative. Um, you don't want to su have suppressed emotions that you're not honoring and feeling and then when you get in this new cycle all of a sudden you know something triggers you and then everything is just rehashing and it's almost like you you know you didn't close the door on this last season because you're still feeling its energies so that's why it's so important to make sure you do a review heal what needs to be healed and you know, leave any energy that is not serving you or is going to serve your new beginning, leave it in the past, okay? Starting fresh, a wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. That's right. 
Some of you are moving. You got a career opportunity. It's in another town, another state. Some of you, this is, you know, a new relationship, a new house, or, you know, maybe you're moving to a different home, new career. I feel like this is like a breath of fresh air right here with this fresh start. You needed this. You've wanted this and now it's finally here. Okay? And you deserve it. All right. So we have deception and envy. This is going to be for maybe one or two people. Okay. This is someone at your job, okay, that is so jealous of you. I feel like you've recently got a raise. Um, maybe you were promoted. And it is just, it's eating them up, okay? And I do feel like fertility is also confirmation for this energy. Because fertility, it's that... It's all about growth and expansion. You're moving up, okay? You're creative. You know, you have a lot of ideas that are very successful. And you just have someone behind the scenes just fuming. Make sure you're protecting your energy, okay? Put an invisible shield around you. You know, your energy is precious, you guys. I cannot tell you that enough, okay? And when you have someone that is thinking bad thoughts about you, negative about you, you know, that is thought forms that they're putting out. That's negative energy that they're putting out, you know, towards you. And you want to make sure that you're just, you know, it bounces off of you, okay? Now, I do see a situation here. It's, it's a couple, okay? You, you either have a, a, another male that's a friend or a female that's a friend of you and your husbands, okay? Or husband and wife. And they are definitely jealous of the two of you, okay? And this is a, this is a nasty kind of jealousy here. This is one of those energies I'm picking up that someone would do something on purpose, to mess it up, okay? And that's horrible. But just be mindful of this. Be mindful of this. This person is not a very nice person um, on the inside. And I feel like if this message is for you, you already know who that is. And you may need to go ahead and cut ties with them and uh, before they start some type of I'm just getting destruction here. They're wanting to put a wedge between you and your lover or you and your husband or your wife, okay? I do feel like there's going to be a lot of growth and expansion coming to those of you that have been waiting on uh, your business to pick up or a legal financial situation. Because, you know, you do have Lady Justice right here as well. The energy of Libra. Okay. Clarifying this Four of Pentacles. You're getting your money. You're getting your money. Some of you, you're paying off your home. Or you're buying a home. Starting a business from home. This could be a contract as well. Whatever it is, there's it's coming in. What's coming in is way more than what you had expected, okay? Three times as much. This is, you know, definitely good karma coming your way as well. For some of you, it's time to invest. It's time to take a pinnacle or two, invest in yourself, take a positive, healthy risk, and it's going to pay off for you, okay? You're going to be rewarded for it. I see one of you going to court over a an issue. Maybe you own a home and you're renting it out. Um, 
whatever the issue is, the judgment will be in your favor, okay? Maybe they didn't pay their rent. Maybe they did something destructive to your house. All right, so you have the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, all right? Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands is that that wounded energy. This is you going through something and maybe you've been going through it for years, okay? Maybe you were even hurt physically, mentally, or emotionally, okay? Toxic. Some of you, this is you, you know, finally getting your degree. Whatever it is, it's been very difficult. It's been challenging, but you know what? You didn't give up. You did not give up. You showed inner strength. You are strong beyond measure. When this comes up, this tells me that nothing can knock you down and keep you down, okay? Nothing, because you will get right back up and you will continue to move forward. And you know what, you guys? You've made it to the finish line. All right, you're at the end of this, and what happens is this Ace of Cups, your cup is being refilled, you're being rewarded. All right. Spirit, your angels, your guides, they've, they've seen every single thing you've been through. Okay, they don't miss anything. People in this mundane world may not know, have a clue as to what you've been through, but I guarantee you in the spirit realm, they're your cheerle cheerleaders, and they are cheering you on, and they know what you've been through. And they've got your back. This is a hard one ending or season or cycle. Make sure you take time out to do something nice for yourself. Celebrate this ending because that's you showing gratitude. When you show that gratitude, I tell you what, you guys, it, it leaves you wide open for even more abundance and and blessings and opportunities okay look at this whoops <laughs> we've got the chariot the energy of cancer and we've got the nine of cups all right the chariot that's moving full speed ahead triumph over adversity this is you moving out of difficult times challenges just obstacles and just breaking free this is you going after a vision a dream this is you having the clarity. You know what you want. You know how you're going to get there, and you know how you're going to get it. You're going after your happiness, okay? Especially with the Nine of Cups as well. That's a wish fulfillment. Emotional satisfaction, joy, happiness, peace in your life. Your cup is just runneth over. You feel complete. You have more than enough. This talks about how much willpower you have, okay, with the chariot. You can use your mind to make things happen. You set your intentions and you visualize it. I see a new car or vehicle for some of you, <laughs> okay, and you're so excited. That was your... That was your dream. That's what you was wanting. Okay? That's what you've been asking for from the universe. And here it is. All right. So you have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, whether you're female or male. And you have the High Priest, Taurus energy. Okay? This is a powerful, powerful pair. Queen of Pentacles is here to show you this is what you can have. This is what you can achieve. Stability, security, laying a solid, unshakable foundation when we're talking about your finances. This is you building up a career, building up a business. Okay? This is you being financially successful. Financial freedom is achievable here. But it's up to you to be able to take the keys 
that you hold within and you've had these keys within you all along but you weren't ready now you're ready now you're ready to pull those keys out and unlock those doors that have been locked you're ready to go down those paths that have been blocked okay you are ready you have you have mastered something here you have achieved something you've gained something knowledge wisdom education maybe you took a course you got a certificate whatever the case may be now you can take your experiences and your knowledge and you can turn it into something not only that is going to bring in financial gain and reward okay but also be beneficial spiritually I feel like you've mastered this path whether it was you getting a master's degree or um, maybe going back to school getting a certificate a trade school whatever it is okay still you took time out to do your spiritual path no matter how busy you were okay you still got on your knees and you prayed or went outside and, and spoke your intentions talk to the universe talk to your guides you still took time out to check in with number one okay and your higher self and you're being rewarded right here my friends now these keys are shown to you you weren't ready before but now you are I tell you what you got the sun and the moon right here okay balance all right I love you guys I love each and every one of you with all of my heart all right um, it's gonna be a minute before I have the comments back on okay just remember I am doing daily so I will be back on Sunday with the Monday daily okay I I love each and every one of you with all of my heart if you would like a personal reading with me uh, email me hidden truth crow at gmail.com I will meditate on your name if I connect I will get you booked and scheduled if I do not connect with your energy I have a lovely lady that I can refer you to okay and these are not free readings all right you guys so email me and I'll send you the information and there's a lot of openings so if you're interested take advantage okay all right I will see you guys back here tomorrow oh another quick thing the giveaway you guys any any where from 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday to 8 o'clock, 8 p.m. Saturday night is when the giveaway video is going to be randomly uploaded. Okay, it's going to be a surprise, so you want to make sure that you are subscribed. And um, you don't have to be one of the first 100s to comment. I'm picking the winner from here on out, okay? Um, from here on out, I will be going through so everybody has the chance to win as well as those of you who are in my tribe and i know who you are <laughs> all right you guys i will see you guys back here tomorrow bye bye everyone